Activating reactor stabilization lasers. Oh, hello. Welcome back to my channel. I'm at a thermal power plant. Its name is IITPP, also known as Innovation Incorporated Thermal Power Plant. Let's start from the main lift. Position locked. Everyone is heading to the reactor core. I was walking toward the access lift to the reactor core. It used to be a Hitachi branded lift, but it was renamed IITPP and now it has been increased to two, as well as being replaced as a temporary lift in a building under construction.
safe system for use in hazardous environments only. Have a very safe day. Delta, bread, control. I will head to sector D to find another lift. I finally found it. The lift is in the biodome watchtower the biodome's observation room. And this is my favorite shelter if magma flooding is happening. Warning, the reactor core has reached 3000 Kelvin. Please activate all cooling systems at this time to avoid a full reactor meltdown. Stabilization ring integrity at 80%. In the rare case of facility doors malfunctioning or breaking down, please exit the area and contact a maintenance officer immediately. Time to find another lift. Sector C, reactor control personnel. 
Alert. The reactor core meltdown safeguard procedure has been initiated. 4. Risk factors detected. Mediocre chance of success. Deactivating power lasers. Reactor core meltdown safeguard has been activated. Time for the next lift. Attention all emergency rescue and maintenance teams. Please, follow your correct procedures and listen to directions from the security I'm now in the facility's mainframe. The automated smart announcement system also known as ASUS is located here. But I can't film the lift because if I go in, I'll get severely punished or possibly terminated. lift. Is this access open? The answer is no. We will be heading to a new area at IITPP. This is a kind of access to storage and transport, and external command and communication, to call in helicopters in case of a zombie apocalypse in this game. In the storage warehouse there is a freight elevator powered by magma crystal. In this area where the lifts don't work, I'm going back to the main facility. I will head to sector D, this is the sector that has the most lifts. I found the maintenance lift again, a door like this means there's a lift inside. Except for the door near the coolant systems. I found the same lift as in the storage warehouse, top side. This lift wasn't working either. 
was aimed inside the volcano. Why can't I wear the suit? Attention all personnel, it looks like someone coated the inside of the safety suits with super glue again. So if you put one on, have fun getting it off. Who the hell keeps doing this? Kyle, it wasn't me who coated the super glue onto the security suit. I just wanted to wear the suit to enter the volcano, because there was a climbing lift there that I hadn't filmed yet. Continue the video. We are in our last lift at the IITPP office complex. This area used to be in one game, but is now separated into new game for some reason. Attention, Catherine Chan, please report to Topside, Command and Communication. The lifts are apparently still Hitachi branded, as is the access lift to the core reactor room, before it was replaced. First, second, third, fourth.
let's explore this area. in this room. What is this? We are on sub-level 2, the most terrifying floor in IITPP. I can't get out of this floor. Reset character.
Finally, the lift tour at IITPP has been completed, but there are still lifts that I have yet to film. And a message to IITPP players fans, please note that the lifts in that office complex still use Cobalt engine. It has an alarm button in case the lift gets stuck. If you press the alarm button for no reason or for fun, you could be blacklisted from the Cobalt lift because Cobalt is the same lift as in the real world. So don't press the alarm button if you're not stuck. In the real world, you might be asked why you did that in the lift. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe this channel, like the video, share this video with your friends, and comment below if this video is awesome or you found the mistakes in this video. See you later.